Okay guys, so today I am going to be filming a get ready with me video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in literally the longest time ever you guys. So today I am literally going to be doing my everyday look with you guys. So I hope you guys are excited. So without me rambling any longer, I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my makeup. I'm going to chit chat with you guys. I'm going to do like a little Q&A as well. And yeah, I'm really excited without me rambling any further. Let's get this makeup look on. Right, you guys. So I am very excited. Oh, I'm sorry. I need a mirror because how the hell am I going to see? Let's start to meet up. Well done. You can see how disgusting it is. Wow, I love that for me. Anyways, we are going to start off with, I guess, the base because as you guys can see, my skin is not 10-10. You guys, I'm still on a journey, so please bear with me. My skin is kind of getting there a little bit. Like I mentioned in my previous vlog, if you haven't watched that, I'm suffering with the muskini. It's actually a thing, you guys. I'm not even joking. Like my skin has never been this bad ever like i'm really good in terms of skincare i like take care of my skin but look at that like it's just over here where my my mask is i've got a bit here i've got some here and it's just not doing it for me so i need to hide this up like asap so we need to get cracking anyways beforehand i do have lash extensions on so i am just gonna brush that to make sure it looks cute Anyways, how are you guys? What you guys been up to in lockdown? Let me know. I don't know about you guys, but I am, oh my God, I am literally bored out of my head. I ain't gonna lie. Like every single day I wake up and I'm like, what shall I do today? Like, what shall I do today? Anyways, I am gonna be using the MAC um, Studio Fix SP 50, SPF 15 shade NC15. And that's my regular shade, you guys gonna put a little bit here i need to get a pump like this is not for me like this is not on i don't know why it happened anyways um oh my god i'm so excited you guys today i weighed myself like okay i know you really technically shouldn't go by what it says on the scales but sometimes i like to just you know check how she's doing or whatever so i've been trying to eat healthy ish i will never deprive myself if i fancy a bag of crisps i'm gonna give myself that bag of crisps okay i'm not really i don't really have a sweet tooth as such like i don't really crave chocolate or sweets like that's not me but i do crave like crisps or like a little bit of snack in the evening when i'm watching a movie or whatever like i am a snacker for sure i would prefer snacking than having like a full-on meal anyone out there but I do prefer a snack over like a full on meal. So anyways, um, so yeah, I checked myself. I checked my weight for the first time in literally ages today. And woohoo, your girl, she um, she hit her target weight. I'm not gonna tell you guys what my target weight is because some of you guys will be like, really honey, really? For me and my height and everything, like that was always my ideal weight to hit that specific weight. And I did, so. Yeah, that, I'm happy with that. Um, alhamdulillah, like, I'm so chuffed. Like, I wasn't even, I ain't gonna lie, like, I wasn't even trying hard to hit that weight or anything like that. I was just kind of, like I said, if I fancy a bag of crisps, I'm gonna give myself that bag of crisps. But I was just, everything in precaution, like, that's what I, that's kind of how I go. Like, if, example, if I had, like, let's say a croissant for the breakfast, I will have something like for lunch uh, and then dinner. Like, dinner is, like, the main meal, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I do... Like in the evenings, your girl gets hungry, so I do enjoy like a good meal. But for lunch, I'm not really a lunch kind of person. Like I just, oh, I just never know what to have for lunch. Like in the morning, I'm hungry, so as soon as I wake up, I do enjoy a good breakfast. I ain't gonna lie. But when it comes to lunch, like I feel like there's no use of it, especially for home when we're not doing anything like much, much. <laughs> um. I just like try to avoid it if I can because I just don't know what to have. I mean, I'm not telling you to follow me or like follow the ways I do it because girl, do not. Because my like eating habits kind of all over the place. But I, if I'm not really doing much at home, I will avoid having lunch. I'll have breakfast, but I'll have like a late breakfast. So it's kind of like brunch, I suppose. And um, so I'll have breakfast about 10 ish, 11. And then I'll just like, if I get hungry later, maybe I'll just make myself a cup of tea, like maybe one biscuit. And then that's it you guys and then i'll just have dinner um so that's kind of what i've been doing over lockdown i'm gonna lie like because i feel like i'm not doing much so there's not really 
I don't know, the way my head works is all over the place, you guys. So for me, if I'm not doing much at home, I feel like, why should I eat a lot if I'm just at home doing nothing? I don't know. I make no sense. I know. I get that. But that's kind of what's been working for me. And alhamdulillah, you guys, like, I've lost my weight without even me realizing. And obviously, you guys know that I go for an hour walk every single day. Like, that's one habit that I've been doing, like, since Ramadan. So, um since last ramadan i've been going for a walk every single day after iftar so i'll have my iftar i'll pray maghrib and then i'll go for a walk like pretty much straight away just to digest the food and so i don't feel like so bloated and heavy and that's kind of what i've been doing ever since ramadan so every single day since i've been going out for a walk every day alhamdulillah and honestly i can't even tell you guys the benefits of walking is literally crazy like without you even realizing you lose weight like i didn't think i was going to lose weight i just did it just to make me feel good and so i don't feel like really bloated and yucky and honestly it's been helping me so much so i'm really really happy with that okay guys so i've just done my base and is it a tutorial without me getting any foundation on my scarf no of course not why the hell did i decide to wear a white scarf when i'm doing my makeup please tell me please tell me because i just don't understand Anyways, as you guys can see, this is definitely a full coverage. If you want to go for something a bit more light coverage, um, not quite full on, I would definitely recommend the Face and Body Foundation by MAC. This is literally ideal for like an everyday look. This is probably what I would wear every day, actually, to be fair. If I want something a bit subtle, not too much, not too heavy, um, definitely would recommend that. Um, this, however, is definitely full coverage. It's buildable too um so you can go quite heavy duty if you wanted to but yeah that is my base done we're gonna like i don't know about you guys but i do my makeup kind of in random orders but um now i'm gonna move on to concealing my eyebrows i have tinted my eyebrows my eyebrows are quite dark so i'm not gonna really fill that in i'm just gonna conceal my eyebrows just to define it and make it look snitched and cute um, I am using the MC15 Studio Finish Concealer. I've been seeing a lot of people on Instagram do like um, like home workouts. They're following that, what's it called? Chloe thing, the drink, um, heart tutorials or Joe Wicks. And I know a lot of people are on it. And honestly, if that's you, go you. But this time around, I'm really struggling to kind of do like home workouts or anything like that to be fair because i'm just so lazy um so what i do instead you guys um to like stay fit at home and not just sit there and watch tv all day because you know let's not lie some days we have days like that you know it's what i've been doing you guys is just like write myself a list every single day like i wake up write myself a list and just be like okay what do i want to achieve today so if i do the washing i'll be like okay washing washing up um clean out the cupboards do my wardrobe clean out my makeup just give myself little tasks during the day so when i go and take it off oh my god when you take it off you guys best feeling ever like you literally love yourself for that and you'll be like okay cool i'm happy with that definitely write yourself some targets and it'll just give you things to do around the house so you're not bored and like i said like just stay fit go for like little walks um do things like around the house and if you have kids like maybe walk them to the park have a little day out in the park go grab yourself a little coffee go for a little stroll like that's all we can do you guys like there's not much we can do over lockdown since we're pretty much locked down to be fair so there's not much to do but yeah if you try to keep yourself busy and write yourself targets and things to do watch how quick your day will go by and you'll feel proud of yourself because you know what you did things rather than just sit and watch tv there we go now for concealer i am using the long pro long wear concealer and this is nc15 and i'm going to put a little bit underneath my eyes or whatever just to highlight that area okay so that's my base done now i am going to move on to contour and my favorite thing to contour with is the fenty beauty um matchstick in mocha like this shade is insane and it's the perfect contour stick you guys i use this every single day if i can and it's just literally amazing so easy to use and also so easy to blend out too so always always use this
the first question is what is your favorite program right now and what are you watching so i have fallen back in love with watching it's called if you know you know it's on um it's on netflix and i feel like the whole world everyone in the mum has watched it like literally everyone in the mum has watched it so um i started watching it like back in ramadan this ramadan and i was full on like watching it every single day watching about two three episodes and i was like proper on it and then i gave up a little bit i was like it's getting a little bit deja vu ish and then i've started re-watching it again and i'm continue. i'm like oh i'm on episode no i'm on season four so i'm nearly there i feel like there's only five seasons but in one season there's like 90 something episodes it's kind of crazy but if you want to watch something that's good i don't want to give too much away if you haven't watched it but if you want to watch something that's quite full on and you want to keep on watching every single day then that's the program for you 93 episodes 92 episodes per season you'll have a lot to watch that's for sure and um, i'm gonna go and use the studio fix um powder plus nc15 again i'm just gonna put that everywhere you guys Oh yeah, there's another thing that I've been watching recently. It's the Tough Prison. Uh, the Tough Prison on Netflix. If you've watched that, oh my god, there's new seasons out, and honestly, it's so so good. Like some of the prisons, I can't believe the prisons. Like some of them are like really brutal, and the way they treat you, damn. And secondly, some of the prisons that they show are like literally hotels, like kind of like a hotel, like a hostel, kind of like a flat. Like you get everything that you want. You can walk around no guards you don't really need to be in your room as such locked up or nothing like that you can go and make your food you have a kitchen you have a play area you have a snooker like some of the prisons i'm just like what how does that even exist like for them doing like a horrific crime like such as like murder or like rape or whatever they're just chilling there like chilling in the hotel more or less so definitely go and watch that it's really good um right for blusher bronzer this is eternal sun by mac i'm gonna pop a little bit of that on my sneaks yes i did say sneaks if you are wondering this is such a nice blusher like look how pretty you guys this is pretty much my everyday look you know i'm not i'm not one of them that like to fluff about with like eyeshadow on a daily basis like if that's you i mean go you but I just, I don't know, it's just not me. Like, I'm not really an eyeshadow kind of girl. I don't, I like to, like, obviously, when I'm going out or, like, if I have, like, an occasion, like, then I'll go full on with my makeup. But, like, on a daily basis, do I really have time for that? No. If I have to be out the door in literally, like, 10 minutes, i.e., like, dressed and do my makeup, this is my go-to makeup. Obviously, when I'm doing it by myself, it's a lot quicker. But since we're talking and we're having a little chit-chat, it's obviously taking me a lot longer. So, that is the blusher. Blus blusa? the blusher <laughs> situation more or less complete okay let's answer another question okay so someone asked oh my god this is so funny it's kind of true but it's it's funny why do you always pull silly faces in your videos okay guys i don't know i don't know i am very expressionist i like to talk with my hands you know and when i talk i like to express myself so if i talk like this i know it's so annoying to you guys i get that but honestly like i just can't help it i just i just can't help it that's just me like i like to express myself when i talk like if i pull a silly face silly faces what am i saying if i pull silly faces it's not because i'm doing it on purpose it's just genuinely how i talk and how i am as a person like this is literally me on a daily so uh, if it annoys some of you guys i'm really sorry but that's just literally the way i am i'm just so annoying sorry about that can't really help that anyway for um highlights i'm gonna use soft and gentle by mac and she's pretty that's all i'm gonna say i mean can you see it can you see the i can I mean, she's cute. Right, what lip color should we go for? I'm not gonna go for Russian red, that's a bit too bright. Honey Love is such a pretty color. Why is she still in my collection? Like, there's hardly anything there. Uh, taupe is nice, it's more of like a purpley brown undertone if you want something more 
Modoc Velvet Teddy, you know, Velvet Teddy is the one. This was actually my first ever lipstick that I ever bought back in my teenager years. Yeah, this lipstick, firstly, Oh wow, I just went to smell it and it went all over my nose. Oh my god. I mean, it's not on, you know, it's not on. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, like I was saying, taupe smells literally insane and it's such a nice colour. Okay guys, so that is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. I have had so much fun talking to you guys. I feel like you guys are literally here, sat in front of me, having a little coffee day or whatever, even though we can't do that anymore, technically, um, for now anyways. But um, I actually really enjoyed talking to you guys. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that little thumbs up. Let me know down below what you guys have been doing over the lockdown period. Let's share it with each other. Let's give each other little tips. Um, I feel like no one's really baking banana loaves anymore what else are we doing let you girl know i feel like it's so important to write like a few goals that you guys want to achieve and just work hard towards it and just manifest it and it will happen okay believe in yourself believe in yourself okay that's it guys i'll see you guys really really soon